Hey everyone, it's Diane here from Deco Easy. Jenny and I are super happy that you stopped by our channel to watch. If you want to see our next daily DIY, then keep on watching. Hey, welcome to another DIY. Today I'm going to transform this Bath and Body Works box with this beautiful pattern on the inside into something amazing farmhouse decor. Uh, I saw this box and I saw the inside and I thought, well, I need to do something with this. So I'm carefully going to tear this one here apart. Hopefully I'm going to remain the print um, and then I'm gonna make, going to make a big heart out of it. Okay, I managed to open up the back so now you can see through it. Um, so I think I'm going to carefully make a cut, sorry for the mess, here and then see what I can use of this pattern. Well, I managed to open it up. There it is. It is quite a lot of cardboard. I'm going to secure this through everything. Uh, by the way, there was an opening up here, which I was able to cut off with a knife. Um, so yeah, let's first cut all these flaps into smaller parts before we continue. Okay, hope you, I hope you can probably see it. These inner parts, these flaps and these are the best to work with because I want to make a big DIY thing today. I'm going to put them carefully together. Well, I know the pattern isn't flawless, but yeah, what can I do about it? If I do it like this, I think that is the best way to have success. I carefully applied some tape on the back. Just first small pieces to make sure that everything was in the right place. And I'm going to put a real big part of tape on the back side. Just to keep everything together. I think this is one off. Hopefully tear it off here. Not a sticky mess. Push it really well, and then I see I'm still needs to rip the part off. There we go. Put this one back here. Now turn the whole thing over, and this should be, yeah, on the exact same place. Um, I'm carefully going to draw a big heart now. I'm doing that with uh, not not ink, but you know where you can. What's the word? I don't know. A pencil I think yeah which if I make a mistake I just can easily erase it um, and I'm going to make a big shape heart like this well, I just slightly drew around a heart shape like here only that this side because when I'm done with this side I'm going to flip it over actually or not from this side and then I just can cut it out from the back so you have exact two same pieces now I'm going to use the big knife from my toolkit um, to Cut this one out. Don't forget to protect your workspace underneath here. There's a cutting mat, otherwise, it would of course damage my table, and we don't want that to happen. I just carefully start pressing around this edge here, and now comes the big trick. Oh, you already saw it there. Flip it over, and I'm going to start drawing around here for that job. I think I'm going to use a thicker um, marker here. This permanent will do. No. Watch myself that I don't damage the painted part of the cardboard. So I'm going to well, lay it almost flat upon the surface in the hope that I don't damage the other part. Just like so. No, for the dark one we have also a solution i believe i have yeah here it is a golden marker evenly although oh, no, this one is even better a golden glitter marker just gently pour that upon the black tape area and that will do the trick now flap the back i can easily see where i have to cut and here is the heart. I think I've done it pretty well, actually. The, the shape looks a really bit weird to me, but then the other hand, I think it's unique, and I made it myself. So yeah, you can do something. You can't do something wrong when you're drawing your own things. That's what Jenny always says, and I think she I should agree to her this time. Um, what I see is that these flaps here are starting to come upwards, and I want to avoid that. So I'm going to glue just here. Piece of cardboard here on the back 
and then I'm going to press it by putting my toolbox or a heavy object like a big tray upon it and let the glue dry because that's what we want. Uh, you see here, a little part here, I'm going to cut that off after I glued it um, and after the glue is dry, otherwise I think I'm going to ruin the cardboard which is moist then. So let's take me out some glue first. Okay, time to glue. I think I'm going to glue this side because on this side is tape and it doesn't really uh, stick to the cardboard because there is also tape. Um, here is my glue that I'm using. It is actually Mod Podge, but then from Action, similar to Dollar Tree here, and it's 17 times cheaper than real Mod Podge. So gently pour it, a lot of amount of glue on the cardboard because cardboard really soaks up this part of glue. Then you take your brush and start brushing all the glue upon the surface. Make a nice and thick layer. Make sure that, especially here in the corners, everything is covered up. Because that's where the ooh, cardboard pulls the hardest. Because there it wants to go upwards. So, I'm going to put this one here, please don't roll over, okay, now I have to hold this, I'll get rid of this mat because otherwise I put my project into the glue, hope you can see or just let me just adjust the camera a little bit more, then you pull it upside down. Here is good. I'm going to stand up and press really well because it's still pretty wet. Make sure that these corners here are up on the right side. And yeah, now I need the heavy object to come in. So I'm going to turn off the camera and let it dry for I think at least two hours because I used so much glue. Well, next thing I did is put some burlap. This one is from AliExpress around here what i now want to do is to make a really big bow and put it here now i'm going to show you how you can do that well let's say you take this piece of burlap now what you want to do is outline for example 25 centimeters then you fold it back then you fold it back to let's say 18 that is one, two, three, four, five. So then you go back to here. Nope, did it wrong. You need 20. Then you go back to five and then fold it up here, cut it off, glue this. Here. Woo! I had to sneeze because this really makes me some kind of allergic. I don't know why. Um, and then I hope I can, because I can't film it while doing it because I need a glue gun and that one is in the kitchen. Then you cut it up here. You take a smaller piece of burlap. I'm going to wrap around it here in the center. And then you can just pinch it like so. I'm just sharing the idea. Wrap around here, and then you get a really big bowl. You can even make fishtails underneath if you want to. And I hope I managed to do it right. If I manage to succeed, you will see that in the next shot. Are you ready for the reveal? Then, here it is. I think it looks super cute. And yeah, it was quite a, a challenge for me to make it, because I never did it this way. But I think it fits perfect in with the heart. And yeah, the idea is to glue it back here something like that and then i think i'm going to finish it off with some greenery or other decoration i don't know that yet but this already looks pretty farmhousey romantic to me and this is what it looks like i put some different kinds of greenery behind the burlap part that was wrapped around the heart 
and I think it looks fantastic. It has a farmhouse romantic look and it's really easy to make. You only need cardboard, burlap, well you can also work with a print if you don't have printed cardboard, and some greenery and some glue from the glue gun. And then this is what you can make out of actually a box. So that was it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Jenny, I'm really happy that you stopped by here on our Decor Easy channel. If you want to stay tuned of what we make, then hit the subscribe and also the bell button so you get a notification when we upload something new. Thank you so much for watching and we wish you a nice day. Bye everyone!